I think that it was a game that we knew the longer we couldn't score, it was going to be a game that was going to become more difficult. Uh, I think we we created the, the situation for them to go down to 10, but I think we should have, probably on the first half, we had enough chances to put the game to bed. We didn't. Second half, uh, again, same situation. We spoke about it before the game, actually, that we needed to be really, like, we needed to, someone, or we needed to be, Stepping up individually in order to to convert those chances, uh, we knew that defensively we were happy with the with the work, and I think that was a little bit of the game. We were very good defensively, offensively. I think we created enough to to score, but but no one had the the detail to to win it. No. Thank you for that, you guys. If y'all have questions, please click the raise your hand button. And I'll get you in. Uh, see one come in here from Richard Dean from the Houston Chronicle. So Richard, we'll start off with you. Uh, yes, uh, Juan Carlos, um, you picked up a point, you know, the three matches before you picked up three points, but uh, it's still good to pick up a point, but it's just like one of those games where it's kind of a golden opportunity, kind of went astray. Yeah, obviously it was a game that, that we wanted to win, like every time we go on the pitch, I think that that we dominated we I think I was looking at the stats we had like 15 shots 10 on target eight inside the inside the box and 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 they had zero on target and I think just three of 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 goal so we should have been better in in the aspect uh, through that sometimes I think we could have been better a little bit more on on the ball as well but uh, obviously we wanted three points but uh, we had a, a clean sheet we we keep the unbeaten strike we we have to keep working because there is three days or four days now for our next game against Gotham no so so we will try to make that right there can you talk about the defense I mean what you're talking about I mean you guys played defensively everybody played pretty well yeah I think that you can see you know like when Jane basically was restricted to job just playing out from the back like she had she didn't have to do no saves throughout 90 minutes I think that says a lot from the defensive t side of things that how the team performed in the aspect and offensively I think that we had definitely enough chances no I can remember a lot in the first half we, but today uh, the attention to detail we didn't have it and and we didn't win. No, like we go out with with a nil nil, but we had a point. We keep we keep down beaten run and and we keep growing. No. Thank you. Now welcome. All right. Next, we'll go over to Jeff Kasuk with the Equalizer. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Juan Carlos. Um, just wondering, uh, kind of tactically and even maybe mentally, on that shift for the team that has the advantage for for that long. It looked like maybe Louisville actually gained a little bit of confidence after losing a player in that second half. Um, in some regards, anyway. I mean, what 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 change do you think from then them? Was it harder in any way to break them down with ten? Or? I think we would have been a bit better technically. We could have um, make decision making. We could have created more chances. Definitely, I think you know, like it was one of those games that we decided that that bad pass. I think that we have the width, but maybe at times too high. We didn't. We did, we weren't sometimes patient enough, and and definitely in the box we weren't critical. So that's why that's why we draw. Uh, lots of players had the chance today and um, to to come into the team and, and have some minutes. And and I think I want to look at the at the positive side. We need to keep to keep building. Uh, we go a, a point out of it. Obviously disappointed because it was a game that we should have won when when the other team goes down to ten. But they went down to ten also because of the good things we were doing. So. Uh, I, I think the, the line of work is good, and, and we need to, to make sure we make this 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 point good on on Wednesday with a win against Gotham. No? Thank you. No, welcome. Any additional questions in English for for, for Juan Carlos? Give it a second here. All right, uh, Juan, just uh, one in Spanish. ¿Qué pensó sobre el partido? ¿Y cómo jugó tu, tu equipo? Bueno, el partido creo que lo, ten, lo hemos tenido controlado, creo que hemos dominado el, el juego, las ocasiones, ¿no? Creo que hemos tenido, creo que han sido 10 disparos entre los tres palos, 15 en total, 8 dentro del área. Teníamos que haber 
teníamos que haber marcado, sabíamos que ellos son un equipo que, que empatan muchísimo porque es un equipo muy competitivo, que hay que, que hay que marcar las ocasiones, ya le ha pasado a otros equipos contra ellos que no han sido capaz y nosotros deberíamos haberlo hecho, en este caso no, no hemos podido, pero, pero el trabajo defensivo creo que ha sido fantástico, dejando... Bueno, que no han disparado a puerta en todo el partido y, y con tan solo tres tiros ¿no? de, del rival. Así que esta es la línea de trabajo, tenemos que seguir confiando en lo que estamos haciendo. El equipo está comprometido y trabajando muy bien, así que ya centrados ¿no? en ese partido del miércoles en, contra el Gotham. Gracias y unas más preguntas de Victor Arisa, de Striker. Hola, Víctor. Juan Carlos, simplemente, bueno, ¿qué crees que eh, influyó un poco a, a la falta de, de afinación en ataque, ¿no? de, de poder eh, penetrar más en, dentro del área, de, de, de ser más contundentes? ¿A, a, qué, a qué le, le apuntas, más que nada? Bueno, creo que a lo mejor el manejo de las alturas en los carriles exteriores deberíamos haberlo hecho un poquito mejor, deberíamos haber tomado ventaja de, de esas situaciones. Eh, no lo hemos hecho y luego la toma de decisiones cuando hemos llegado a la zona de finalización no ha sido la oportuna y cuando hemos tenido ocasiones de finalizar o, o de tener centros claros no, no lo hemos realizado, no lo hemos ejecutado correctamente y al final y al final eso pues te, te cuesta el partido, no, no lo perdemos pero no, no lo ganamos tampoco así que eh, nosotros queremos ser el equipo que gana siempre y, y hoy no ha podido ser, así que trabajaremos para que el miércoles sí lo sea. ¿no? Eh, en el tema de, de Daily, hoy se despidió del, del club. Eh, simplemente, eh, ¿qué les puede decir al respecto? Fue una, una jugadora con la que pensó que iba a contar y, y, y entró lo de la transferencia o, o ya se sabía de antemano que, que iba a ser una jugadora que ya iba de salida. Bueno, al final Rachel eh, eh, ha sucedido ya ciertas situaciones que, que son de sobra sabidas y, y va a partir hacia, hacia Inglaterra, eh, entonces nosotros tenemos que centrarnos en las jugadoras que están aquí, trabajar con ellas y, y seguir construyendo, porque creo que, que la plantilla está demostrando de lo que es capaz ¿no? con, con, con actuaciones y con resultados, así que... Así que nada, desearle lo mejor ¿no? a Rachel y darle las gracias por todo lo que, lo que ha construido ¿no? aquí en, en el Dash. Y, y, y por último, en esa parte, eh, ¿le falta otra jugadora ahí en, en el ataque para este equipo o lo ve completo el equipo como está? Bueno, ahora mismo tenemos evidentemente dos espacios ¿no? en, en la plantilla por la desafortunada lesión de Maca y el transfer de, de Rachel, pues eh, como todos los equipos ¿no? cuando, cuando está el mercado de fichajes abierto y hemos visto algunos movimientos también en, en otros equipos, pues siempre hay que estar atento de, de qué situaciones se pueden dar para, para contratar alguna jugadora, ¿no? Gracias. De nada, muy amables. Okay. Uh, gracias, Juan. Uh, we'll wrap up with that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all for covering the game. Have a good evening. Bye. Yeah, I mean, overall, I thought that we had a pretty solid performance. Um, we went into the game with a goal of, you know, really going in hard the first 10 minutes, putting a goal in the back of the net as quickly as possible. Obviously, we weren't able to convert on that, but I think as a collective, we did really well to really stunt their offense. They didn't really have any clear-cut chances, and that was our second goal, was to get a clean sheet tonight, and we did do that. So there are definitely a lot of positives to take away. We got in some good spots, and we just have to be more clinical in the final third, and we know we can do that. So just looking forward to the next game on Wednesday. Awesome. Thank you for that. I uh, see a couple of questions coming here. We'll start with Dan Lillard up from the Equalizer. Go ahead, Dan. Thanks, Katie. Uh, I know you've had um, somewhat of a leadership role in this team now for a few years, but I'm wondering if anything has changed at all, uh, even whether with your mentality or even speaking to the new coach now that Rachel is officially no longer the, there and the captain. Yeah, um, I think in these next few games, Jane and I are kind of taking on those leadership roles and responsibilities, but we definitely want the team to have a say moving forward um, in who is leading the team and you know taking on that responsibility. So we'll find out within the next couple of weeks who's going to be stepping into that kind of open spot and 
you know, I'd be honored if it was me and I would still be very grateful if it wasn't. So, um, yeah, I think just now knowing I'm going to be here for the next three years is really exciting and I hope to have a leadership role in any capacity that I can. So then just to clarify, the plan is that eventually there'll be one captain at some point before the end of the season? I'm actually not sure. I think um, we're still kind of figuring it out. I think in the years past we've had um, two captains and then kind of an alternate. Um, and this year is Jane and Rachel and I was kind of the alternate. So we'll see how the structure is now with Juan Carlos coming in and what he envisions. So just kind of waiting to see what works best for this group. Great. Thanks, Katie. Uh, over to Richard Dean from the Houston Chronicle. Go ahead, Richard. Yeah, first of all, Katie, uh, congratulations on the contract extension. <laughs> I know that's got to make you feel pretty good. It takes a lot less pressure off you and everything. Uh, as far as tonight, just talk about how well you guys played defensively. And, uh, I mean, you gave Jane a pretty good break today. So she, she didn't have to do too much. Just talk about the defensive effort. Yeah, I think it was great. We were really solid back there. Um, we've been really training our, our line, um, when to step, when to drop, how to hold, making sure we're all on the same page, and just really staying as compact as possible. So I think that is really starting to translate on the field. And we're catching the teams off sides and, sorry, offside, <laughs> um, and really you know, giving them a hard time. So this is something we're going to continue to work on throughout the rest of the season, and hopefully it, it brings out positive results for, for everyone. Yeah. Um, you, you got a point, you know, so you're moving up. Uh, you didn't get to three, but you got one, and uh, you're currently, I believe, 25 points. I think you're in second place. Just talk about how it good it feels to be on a team that's making a big playoff push, and you're going to have a you know, pretty good seating if you keep playing like this. Yeah, I mean, it definitely feels incredible. Uh, everyone's been working so hard, and our goal is to make the playoffs, be the first Houston Dash team to do so. Um, but there is no way that we're going to let the foot off the gas pedal. So we're really striving to break records and make history here. And even though we're sitting at second place, that's not where we want to be. We want to be at the top, and we want to really show that we deserve to be at the top. So, um, yeah, it's definitely great knowing that our hard work is paying off, but we still have a lot to do. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, proud of our performance today. I thought we did really well defensively, kept them to a clean sheet, um, and then just a little bit disappointed with what we had um, producing going forward, uh, especially with them being a man down. We should have been more clinical in front of net, and disappointing to not come away with three points. Appreciate that. And if you guys have questions, again, click the raise your hand button and I'll get you in. Uh, you mentioned that they're obviously disappointed not to get the three points, but that does extend it to four in a row unbeaten. Uh, Juan Carlos talked about that. Just um, how important is it for you guys just to keep that momentum going and keep them, uh, you know, keep stacking points game after game after game? Yeah, it's definitely big for the, the confidence and morale of the team moving forward. Um, and especially this one is important just because we did keep a clean sheet. That's something we haven't done in the previous wins. Um, so now I think it's important to try to focus on um, bringing it all together, the clean sheet, and getting some goals on the other side as well. Got it. All right, I see a question come in here from Richard Dean from the Houston Chronicle. So Richard, I'll toss it over to you. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, Sophie. Um, yeah, like what Coach said and, and Zach mentioned, the fact that you guys got a point. You know, at the, you know, they all add up, you know, but obviously you wouldn't win this. It, it, how frustrating, though, is it that you kind of dominate a team like this? I mean, they didn't even come close to scoring, and, uh, and, and, you, and you don't get the W. Yeah. Just, just talk about that. Yeah, I mean, that's the game of football, isn't it? It's not always the team that dominates and, you know, has all the chances that wins. And I think these games are sometimes almost more frustrating to play is because you feel like you should be scoring, you are dominating, and it's just that final piece that's not coming. And, you know, I think we did a good job of not letting frustrations creep in. But at the same time, you know, we didn't find a way to, to score a goal. And that hasn't been a problem for us in the last couple of games. So we got to make sure that we don't get frustrated or get down, um, but we keep that confidence moving forward. So that'll be key. Yeah, I mean, you have the last few games, you guys have been scoring and, you know, they were down a, a person and you 
couldn't really get anything going. Why do you think it is? Was it like maybe the times you guys weren't patient enough, or do you, do you have any idea why it just didn't click today? Yeah, I think um, maybe some tired legs out on the field, potentially. It was hot. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think it was also kudos to them. They did a good job of eliminating our threats and eliminating, um, limiting our crosses from wide areas and um, we didn't really have any clear shots that they didn't get a body in front of. So I think they did a really good job of nullifying our threats, but I think we could have been more patient at times. We gave the ball away a bit too cheaply and um, freely. Okay, thanks, Sophie. See another one from Jeff Kasu from the Equalizer. Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, Sophie, maybe just along those trends, I guess, just, just wondering um, when you're playing against a team with 10 players, especially for that long, um, what what's different? Is it any more difficult in any way? You know, just maybe from a pressure standpoint of, of or, or a compactness that they're offering. You know, in defensive lineup. I mean, what's it like? Sort of, um, is it harder in any way? I think so. I think it's always harder to beat a team that's um, sitting back deeper and has compact lines and and they'll find that central area in front of net. Um, and then that's also, you know, it leaves leaves them. Um, they're really good at the counterattack. They found they did a really good job of found, finding Nadim, um, holding the ball up for them, and um, kudos to our backline for staying sharp. But I think it is hard when they when they sit back and kind of let you have the ball or have the ball, and then you kind of get complacent a little bit in terms of how much time you have on the ball and just the spaces you think, you know, a center, center back is open or a deeper player instead of maybe taking more risks and chances going forward and and trying to go for that goal. Any additional questions for Sophie before we let her go? All right, not see, uh, sorry. One last one coming in here from Victor Ryzen from the striker. Go ahead, Victor. Yeah, Sophie, just in, you know, in your words, just what has been different here in these these couple of games under under the new head coach? Uh, he brings a new excitement and passion for the game. I think that that we've. Um, definitely embraced as a player squad and fresh eyes. And then I think it's the thing that we're embracing the most and enjoying is his attention to detail. It's just phenomenal, just the detail and where he wants us to play the pass. It's not just good enough to find the open player, but it's everything, the little things that you do on and off the ball, the details that make the biggest difference. And I think um, we've, we're having success now, but I think it's going to only grow and you'll see it, it, it come to more fruition and will be more fruitful down the line. Um, this game might feel like a setback with the current run, but you know, Rachel Daly said it before the game uh, in, in the media availability, this team will make the playoffs. That was her statement. Is that how the team feels uh, with, with the current run here with, with the new head coach? Yeah, absolutely. We're confident in that, but we're taking it game by game. We know that we need to do the job day by day, and we don't want to leave anything to chance uh, moving forward. So we need to learn from this game and then make sure we get the job done um, moving forward in three days. Thank you.